Warpugs, over the next few days, you're going to be seeing the background here shift a little bit. Um, there's going to be a little bit of work being done in the background. Um, it's something I have talked about doing since I moved in here and since I started seeing this glare in the background. And essentially, since I walked into this room and declared at my office, I said there were going to be some changes to be done. And those changes are upon us. Guys, I am going... I am... <sighs> so, the truck will be getting towed soon. Um, we have gone ahead and gotten some other things. I am recording everything. And pretty soon, you're going to be seeing the background shift in here. And the process of that is going to be detailed on my third channel, Old Man Lives. Um, I will be putting a, I will start putting a link to that channel in the description down below. Um, essentially, my goals with everything is to get the, my, you know, this channel squared away first because I've been trying for a while now to get this channel back to where it used to be in terms of time wise, in terms of where I was at, in terms of, um, you know, being preparedness and everything like that. Um, for a while, it was, I was recording everything, editing, and uploading the same day. That is a breakneck schedule by any metric. Um, and quite frankly, my uh, goal is to get back where I was so I can work on the second channel, Old Man LST, where I do 40k lore. Um, I plan on starting to read some um, HFY stories over there uh, using the power of my voice. And the Old Man Lives channel is going to be basically, for the next little bit, guys, it's going to be what you have done for me, I'm going to be displaying. I'm going to show you how things change around my house and my life because of you guys. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of that, but um, I can actually slide the camera over, and my wife left her glass up there again. But I can, I can, sh like I filmed everything over there that I have over there right now, and um, in the next few days, I'm going to be putting together some stuff for the third channel and showing you guys basically what I plan on doing and. You know, every everything like that. So to everybody who has been so generous to me and my family, I can't thank you guys enough. I want to show you guys what it's gonna what it's going to do for us. And um at the end of the day, one of these days, I hope my I hope that this continues to grow for me. I hope that this this channel, the second channel where I rant and rave like a psychopath about 40k lore. I hope I'm able to get back to that and really kick that off of the ground. I hope the third channel does well. So one day I can do for other people what you guys have done for me. I think it's only fair and it's only right. And it's everything that I've wanted to do in my life. I've wanted to be able to do something. I want to be able to do things for other people. And there have been times I've wanted to step away from this channel. There have been times I've wanted to stop. And then I'd get messages from people telling me that, you know, watching something along, just the simple act of watching something alongside me helped them through bad times. And to everyone that is like that, honestly, I'm here for you and I'm going to be trying to he be here for you as long as I possibly can. As long as I possibly can. And I hope that not gonna not gonna get all into it, because I'll I, I've gotten emotional several times over the past week and a half, so um yeah, I'll leave I'll leave I'll park that right there. But changes are coming through the pipeline. I'm hoping that you guys like what you see, and I hope to continue doing things for you guys and with you. And with that out of the way, with my mushy, stupid rant out of the way, guys, 
Today, I'm going to be checking out My Goodbye. No, um, kind of a weird one to do when I'm sitting there telling you guys I want to stay around for a while, but at the same time, My Goodbye. Now, this is from uh, Wolfie the Witch, and this is their animation on top of this song. I cannot wait. This has been an absolute ride from start to finish. It it continues to go. I did. I today before I uh, set up to record, I checked out how much is left on this playlist, and it is. It's wild. It's absolutely wild. This is beyond a full length movie, and we're gonna be together for it all. So without anything else being said, guys. Check the links in the description below, and please check out Wolfie the Witch. Hit subscribe if you haven't already with me. Hit the like button. Let's get started. Here we go. Oh, boy. You were reckless, sentimental at best. That's not a teaching of mine. You've grown soft. Your dead friends can attest. Hey. Ooh. Put your emotions aside. You're a worker. Mentally at the rest. I don't know where I went wrong, but I warned you. And you failed the test. So now I'm gone. This way, you'll know what your place is. This way, you can't cross the line. This way, when all this Ooh. I'll close the door consider this is my goodbye That's just like you Ugh. Why should I be surprised Selfish and prideful and vain Unlike you Every time someone dies I'm left to deal with the strain What's a title That he got his command If I'll never sleep at night I'll remind you I saw you as a friend But now we're done this way, you're out of my head now. This way, you won't plague my life. This way, when all is done, you're out of sight and out of mind. This way, you get what you wanted. This way, you can save your time. This way, you close the door and have your damn goodbye. You're not looking for me. Ooh. At least I know what I'm fighting for while you're fighting to be known. Since you claim you're so much wiser, why's your life spent all alone? You're alone. One day you'll hear what I'm saying. One day you might understand. One day, but not today, for after all, you're. It's bad because I've been in both sets of shoes. It's actually kind of painful <clears throat> to hear this. Because I've been in both sets of shoes. <sighs> I've been in the shoes of the of the mentor who's um essentially watched somebody take their teachings and pretty much 
dismiss them entirely. I've been in that position. And I've also been in the position of the person who sees, you know, flaws in their own mentor. And I've and uh, my job, my my actual nine to five, um, I want to be somebody that, you know, at in my position, I want to be somebody that people can always look to for answers, that does not judge, that does not um does not attempt, you know, I'm just not there to um, cast any judgment. I am there to teach. I am there to coach. I am there to guide. That is my job. Um, so, in sometimes, I, I think the, I'm very good at my job, if I can humble brag about that. But, one of the things that I am that I see from this now I've had it happen in the past where you know I had a mentor who was not exactly like they took themselves so seriously they took themselves so seriously that it was hard to get along with them Athena in this both of them are both of them in terms of this are completely right in their own ways in their own head they're both right Athena did not look to him as a friend she looked at him as a pupil a prized pupil and when he dismissed her teachings for so many times at some point and it's a sad fact the matter any any student teacher relationship eventually will break down. That's just the way it goes. I've seen it happen in my prof like in my professional life multiple times. And what I always do, I always try to set myself up as not the person, not the person that you will that you that like the like a paragon. I set I try to set myself up as a guide, not a paragon. Athena is a paragon. And the problem with a paragon is the student of a paragon will always, 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 always begin to find flaws in said paragon. Um, they will begin to find flaws in this idol that they made for themselves that is their teacher. The teacher will always find flaws in the student. That always will happen. Um, so... Athena looked to Odysseus as a prized a prized student. Odysseus looked to her as as he said a friend. And the hard, the hardest hitting parts of this were when he told Athena that she if she was so wise, why is she alone? That cut deep. That one really, really cut deep. <sighs> what it boils down to at the end of the day is there's been so many lessons that I've kind of brought in from this. And I've, I've told everybody I'm more philosophical about this series than I have been any other series that I've watched. And I think it has a lot to do with the art style, a lot to do with the music, everything like that. <clears throat> but there's so many life lessons to take away with this. First off, both of them are dead wrong because Athena looked. <sighs> eh. If they could under if they could understand each other and where they're coming from, they could be better off. But Athena is titanically set in her ways. Odysseus to her is lesser. He is just a man. To Odysseus, Athena is a goddess and is completely disconnected from every concern Odysseus could have. Now, neither the two are ever going to understand each other based off of that, but the problem is neither one of them is willing to see that issue and walk it through to its conclusion. Athena looks at it Athena looks at him 
being just simply a human as a detriment. Odysseus does the same towards her as a goddess. They just see the... At this point, the two of them just see the flaws in the reasoning of the other. But now this has completely broken down. And the bad thing about it is, neither one of them is really happy about it. Athena looks at him with regret because she knows what is going to happen with him, but she can't put aside her pride enough to actually go to him and basically break basically try to try to understand where he's coming from where he's grasping things odysseus has watched a whole bunch of friends of his die he's not in the mood to be preached to right now at the same time odysseus cannot grasp what athena's trying to put out athena speaks with the wisdom of ages odysseus sp speaks with the experience of mortality and those two patterns of speech are simply crossing perpendicular to each other and at this point it's canceled out war pugs this series has been amazing <sighs> and it hits me right in the feels this this sounded it sounded like two people in a relationship like almost an intimate relationship breaking things off it sounded like two friends breaking apart it sounded like a master and a pupil completely severing ties and i have seen this happen i have been there for this this sounded like a mother and a son it sounded like any relationship just coming to an absolute collapse and how many times has like at some point words like this been spoken in your own life much less on here the thing that kills me about this is for me everything about this so far has been so massively relatable and it's going to continue to be that way war pugs all of wolfie the witch's links are going to be in the description down below highly encourage you guys to subscribe to him or her i don't know um subscribe to me leave a like <clears throat> Check out the links in the description down below for both of our links, my Discord, Patreon, everything like that, and I've opened up a channel memberships, so there's that. I will catch you guys next time, and I hope you have a great day.